Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. You guys seem to really enjoy the uh, gameplay footage of Modern Warfare 3 running on the ASUS ROG Ally. Um, that was with the controller sticks here. I'm a little bit better on keyboard and mouse. So we're going to be playing that for you um, using a Logitech uh, Super Pro X. I can't remember the name of that. Well, I just installed this on it though, these glass skates. I'm not sponsored. I just want to let you guys know they are incredible but here's some keyboard and mouse gameplay i'm just using a basic dock in the back there now let's get this to focus all right let's get it going We'll go ahead here and turn on the uh, performance stuff for you guys who like that. Oh man. And uh, really quick, sorry to interrupt the uh, footage here. I just want to let a lot of you guys know, this runs, this experience is uh, better than most console experiences, I'd say. If you're just going to be playing this on a... Like a 4K TV with a Xbox or PS5, um, someone on here is probably going to have the advantage for... I mean, yeah, for 7... I mean, look at how this looks on here, you guys. I mean, that doesn't... I don't know if this is coming through super well. Um, Our counter UAV is active. The frame rate is incredible. I, I know it may not... Oh. Holy moly, these guys are juking me out. It may not look like it, but that variable refresh rate screen is killer, I feel like. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should show you guys the loadout for this thing. It it is nasty. So it's the it's the battle rifle, which I didn't even think were gonna be any good, but it's the uh I think it's the BAR or the BAS something or other. BASB. Oh, If you can manage to land like one or two of those bullets on the head, yeah, they're dead. Oh shoot, we got one of the little drones. Oh, what the freak? We'll do one more. <laughs> I have no idea what these guys are going to say. If you guys have been playing, these voice chats have been crazy. Like, I'm not even... I'm not complaining. 
I'm a COD player since uh, I was about. Hey, shut up! What the I thought I muted you, kid. Uh, I've been playing this since I was like 11, so I, I completely understand what's going on here. But I'll show you guys that loadout really quick if you're interested. Okay, I'm I've been level 30. I've been grinding this game. I'm I'm gross. Um, that's it right there. Brune Venom. I hate the names. I think the naming in all of this, yeah, it's like realistic. Hey man, have you tried that new Bruin Venom Long Barrel? Like the names on some of these are so the Shaje the Chalk angled grip. Like, oh it's that weird looking one. Like how do you even tell somebody what you're using without sounding like a total nerd? Bitch, both of them are high res. Hey, uh suck my dick, how about that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> I could never stream this game. I would get banned so fast. I'm I'm leaving that in. It's totally playable though. Like if if you can figure out some sort of way of taking the mouse with you and the keyboard some smaller one or something. I know it's kind of like a lot to carry around, but I, um, if you could fit it into something like, I don't know if that'll go fit. I don't know, some kind of carry case, like, I don't know. Oh, I'll make a video on those. I got a bunch of cases sent to me from Tom Talk. There's like a bigger like fanny pack one. Yeah, when the Legion comes, I'm gonna show you guys that. That will be fantastic. So many pockets. Perfect size for any handheld. I also want to show you guys the LMG class. That thing is disgusting. I got diffed. All right. So this is that big, big LMG. You just take off the back. There's like a... <clears throat> I don't even know what it's called. Oh, oh, I thought that drone would get me. Nah, that might be too hard on this little other screen. It's easier on my PC. Like, I don't have the, the sights unlocked on that LMG, but on my, like, 27-inch monitor, oh, my gosh. That thing is disgusting. Oh, he was not my teammate. Is anyone else having the hardest time knowing who is your teammate and who isn't? That is probably the biggest issue I have with the game at the moment is, uh, ooh. this is going to be the thumbnail. Oh my, one more time. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that lighting? That lighting was nasty right there. I literally can't tell who's my teammate. Am I am playing hardcore like this? Holy, I, w I wouldn't even match last one match. I'd kill too many teammates. And the stuttering problem from those of you who watched that previous video, total internet, it's it's the internet. I um, As soon as I have this plugged into ethernet, everything's fixed. No, no stutter. See how smooth this is? No stutters, nothing.
Like, don't get me wrong, like, I love to play with controller, but, um... I think I'm going to prefer the Legion Lenovo Go if the, re if the refresh rate looks like this, like the VRR. I know it doesn't have it, but if it can look this good, <clears throat> y'all, that's, that's big, big, big. That's big steps. <clears throat> the only problem that I can see happening is if the Go because you're still needing to use the controller if you know what i mean like you're still needing to use the controller side for the left side i don't know if that's going to register as a wasd input or if that's going to register as a controller because that will be the big problem because on call of duties you you it's one or the other that's how they match make or at least try to match make depending on how many what kind of maps or options are available to you but Look at that. How did I how did I win that? Either that was this gun, because that, that sure as hell wasn't me. Oh please get him, get him, get him. Like, I could see somebody playing this, like, competitively on this device. Like, it... Oh, no! It feels so good. <clears throat> and I know somebody's gonna be like, Bro, why aren't you playing the sights? Do you know why I'm playing Domination? So you can get more kills. Who cares about sights, man? <laughs> Dome from Modern Warfare 3, uh, like the old, old one, um, that was probably my favorite map for the longest time. I never played High Rise, I never played Modern Warfare 2. I think this might take the cake, you guys. This has been such a fun, like a genuinely fun and interesting map with all the little sneaky places that you can go. Try this out. This gun's fun too. I put a six round mag on this thing. Definitely not as fun as that battle rifle, but. It is, it's like kind of hard on this size of a screen to recognize like what is what. But. Holy shite, we still get it done. Yeah, I, like, I couldn't even tell if that was a boxer, if that was a guy. Nah. Hope you guys don't mind the longer upload here. I've kind of just wanted to get this out because this has been really fun. I was, I was just kind of like curious. Oh man, how would this feel? Like butter. Like, I don't know if this is coming through, but this might as well be 360 frames. At, at this screen size, at this resolution, 80 FPS with VRR, it just feels disgusting. It, like, you're going on a trip, but you still want to play competitively, get an ally. Hands down, y'all. And we'll just have to see if the Legion can keep up. I don't... Like, I'm optimistic. I mean, I, I'm paying for it with my own money. But, like, and it's not cheap. I'm I'm obviously optimistic for it. Uh, it's got a lot of things going. A lot of things that can go wrong that the ally is doing correctly. So, we're really just going to have to see. Let me know if you guys pre-ordered. Uh, yeah. I am excited, but cautious, very cautious. I'm, I, this will, this is the first time where I'm actually like glad that there's a, a substantial time window. I believe 30 days, somewhere around there for, for a return with Best Buy. Um, so props to them. Cause I know it's not going to be for everybody. And if you noticed a lot of the games that they were showing off in trailers and stuff were really, really easy to rent. I mean, come on, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels is on the Switch, man. 
like and, and it it plays good on the switch which isn't like a bad thing but like it looks almost identical to the switch footage like you're not showing me anything here that's that's making me very like wanting to bite on this hi-fi rush i mean that's a very fun game if any of you guys haven't played that uh but i don't know if that's enough for me to look at that and go like wow that hi-fi rush footage looks really good it's, it's an art style and that art style just happens to be like fairly easy for games to render or for like systems so yeah i, I hope you guys enjoyed the footage um kind of kind of all over the place there with uh how I'm playing, but if you can, if you, I hope <clears throat> from all of this, I hope you can tell that this is a serious competitor right here. Um, temps, everyone says, oh, your temps are too high, man. When I, when I choose, um, to go into my overdrive mode, pretty much like my, my custom one where, where the fans are set at hundred percent, we're still seeing the same temps. I know that sounds insane, but it's very, very similar temps with almost double the decibels. It's like, it is not even worth it in the slightest. But again, fantastic gun, fantastic game. I, I wanna talk to some people who are having a hard time like with the game. I completely understand that this should have been included with Modern Warfare 2, but at least we're getting this. Like, if you guys are used to playing other games, like any other game that has a slower like release time, um, just be glad that we're getting stuff. And I and I know that sounds like such a lame thing to say, but hey, I'm happy. I know some of you guys are happy to get your hands on this stuff. It's a free beta. Get your hands on this while you can. See if you like it. There's a lot of things that are different. It's not just movement. There's a lot of things like the, the bullets. Everything feels better. I've been playing so much Modern Warfare 2. Using an assault rifle in Modern Warfare 2 feels bad. It doesn't feel good. It feels good in this. I heard someone compare it to, to Battlefield. The, the, the hit markers, everything feels and sounds more punchy. It looks great. It runs great, obviously, on this device. Um, I've just had a fantastic time. Uh, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you've tried this, I heard somebody in my comments, they, they got it working on the Steam Deck. Now, I want to let you guys know, me saying that, you have to run Windows off of an SD card for that to work. Or, I mean, there's a bunch of ways, but the easiest way would be off an SD card and that SD card will probably get fried, but somebody got it to work. I used to play Destiny on my Steam Deck with an SD card, and let me tell you, that was an experience. That's like 30 FPS right there, but that was a fun experience. I used to do a lot of strikes and stuff on my break at work, and then when they announced this, that's when I made my YouTube channel, because I, I was up in arms, man. I was, it was a big deal, but you can't play Modern Warfare games. It's a whole anti-cheat thing. Anti-cheat doesn't support Linux, so... Just want to let you guys know me saying that. But somebody did it. If I'm feeling crazy, I might try it. But um, I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. Subscribe if that's your thing. Um, we're going to be posting more as we get closer to the release of Call of Duty and the Lenovo Go. Just so happens the release dates for those are very close. So expect when the campaign comes out, of course, we're doing videos for that. But uh, to all my Call of Duty guys out there, I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Have a fantastic rest of your beta. Peace.